Oh my god. Oh, dude, that's web just woke up. Well, I took a nap after I made that Leonard Reviews Jurassic World trailer. And there's nothing else to review today. I mean, it's just... What the hell? Huh? It's here! Thug Life Season 1 Episode 1 is here. Come on, you guys will be right back. I gotta go watch it. I gotta go watch it. Be straight back. Six minutes later. Hey, what I thought it would be at all. Yo, what's up, dude? Switch me, Jalen here. Welcome to Brand New Little Reviews. This is reviewing The Alpha Squad presents Thug Life Season One, Episode One. Now, quick little announcement first. I'm not in. The, I'm not in it. I'm gonna come in at Episode Two. So, all right. So just to get it out of the way. Now, I'm still gonna review. I'm still gonna review the episodes. Um, well, not really review every episode, but once. Well, okay, yeah, I'll do that. For every episode that gets released, I'll review it. So this is the Thug Life episode one trailer of the first season. So let's go ahead and let's talk about it. Now this episode doesn't really show off what Thug Life is. The episode starts off with VTech, VTech or Vor or Taz Vortex in a strip club. He just watches stripper. He's throwing stripper money, and you hear um, a couple of the people, a uh, couple of friends in the background. Um, and they walk into the strip club to get VTEX. This is Obey Dreams, and I can't remember who else. Um, but they take him out of the strip club, and they go to a dealer. And I'm going to I'm just, let me just buy this right now. VTEX sticks out so much in this group. He's the only white guy. He just sticks out. So VTEX and the group... I'm a call or the posse. I don't know what I should call them, but Vtex and the posse or the gang. I guess I don't know. Gang sounds worse. Vtex and the posse. Vtex and the crew. I'm gonna just say you. I'm gonna just use crew. Vtex and the crew. Go to the they. Well, the dealer leads Vtex and the crew to um a car which would have the drugs. I don't. Know what was supposed to be happening? I didn't hear anything too good, but I think um, the dealer tried to give them fake marijuana, and so they started beating on the dealer. The dealer took out a gun, killed one of them, and then there's this little title card that said the dealer died of a overdose. And it's like, did he have heroin? Cause he, I don't think you can die off of marijuana. Can you? I don't know. So yeah, so that's basically what episode one was. Yeah. And if you heard the guy in the background, I don't know who that guy was. I think there's a guy in my house, but he says six minutes later. Whoever he was, literally six minutes later, and I'm reviewing the movie. Not the movie, fuck. The episode. It's six minutes, which is really when you think of, like, sometimes it's supposed to be, like, a TV series. You don't think six minutes. Um, You think about maybe um, ten to twenty minutes. For, well, not 10 minutes, but, you know, maybe you think about 20 to 30 minutes for t for TV-wise. Not an hour, no. Maybe about 30 minutes. And that's, my, and that's my one complaint with this. It's too short. It's just really short. Come At 6 minutes, this is um, really short uh, for something TV series-wise, anyway. Um, not really TV series-wise, but YouTube series-wise. Um, It's just really... I'm just going to repeat that a lot. It's just... That's that's my one. That's my first complaint. It's just that it's really short. And my second complaint is that because it's short, there's not enough time for character development. Of course, you know, in a movie or a TV show, you want to have you want to have character development. You want to get to know these characters. You want to learn who these characters are. You want to feel like you care about them. There is literally like no de character development here. Um, as far as I know, everybody does drugs, like in that whole group. In the whole crew, they all do drugs. That's the that's the only character development is that they do drugs, and that's not good enough for character development as well as the time. 
um, why are movies like 90 minutes or 120 minutes? They want to develop a character. You care about the, you care, well, they want to develop like a hero. You care about the hero. Hero dies, you're sad. Or you root for the hero, and hero lives, you're happy. You root for the hero, hero dies, you're sad. There's a reason that character development is there. It's just to care about these certain characters. When something is too short, like six minutes, to actually con to actually do character development, it's just not there. It's not going to work. If you only do one attribute to that character and say, hey, they do drugs, that's not good. Because then people are going to be like, oh, hey, is he going to do this drug? Is he going to do that drug? What drug is he going to do today? So really, the time is conflicting with character development. That time is holding back the development of the characters. Um, my third complaint is that the music. Now, I'm okay with music. Only... If two reasons, one, a major shootout is going on, or two, a chase is happening. When there is music playing in the background and there's no shooting, and there's just people talking, you know, you're understanding who these characters are, you're trying to get to, you're trying to figure out everything. Um, but with that, but with music, it distracts it, because... Some people are not speaking high enough to um, make you, to have you hear them. And I believe that at the beginning of the episode, there might have been some character development there, but the music was just, um, the music wasn't loud, loud, I could still hear people, but it was just at that minimum, it was at that volume where it kind of conflicts with people talking and that people might have to scream. There was this one, I don't know who the guy was, uh, but there was one guy who did scream. I could hear some of his lines. Um, but really, uh, my major issues are the time constraint, uh, the, like, really no character development, and the fact that the music is kind of conflicting with the dialogue. Speaking of dialogue, um, while Vtex and Obey Dreams and other guy, I'm just calling him other guy, is driving to the dealer, they stop to pause. Uh, no dialogue is said, which is something that you really don't want from, like, an episode or a TV show. Whenever somebody be is being quiet, you usually to build up something. You know, like something's about to happen. When you're just driving and nothing happens, well then that doesn't make any sense to do that. So there needs to be more dialogue in this show um, than the pauses. And I'm going to be honest, I don't want to say it. Because hate comes. But the N-word is used a lot. I'm okay with that. Because it is used by... The African Americans. I'm gonna call them African Americans because I feel like somebody's gonna hate on me if I say black people. Because apparently, as a white man, it says black, black people. That's racist. For some, I don't know, but it is for some reason. So yeah, and I know they're allowed to use that word, but just tone it down. They're like, hey man, hey man, what up man? Hey. You get the good good? That's not what it was said, but that's kind of what I could almost basically hear. The But the music was just at that volume where they were trying to talk, and it was just, the music was coming over. Okay, um, as far as good things go, there's nothing really there. There's no good things because you don't have enough time to, I don't know, kind of get it to go. I don't know what to say. The acting isn't that good. Um, it's like a B movie, and it's not like a sci-fi movie. It's just like one of those little cheesy little B movies. It's one of those. It's about mediocre acting. Uh, obviously, the show's not going for an Oscar. It's a fucking YouTube series. I mean, an Emmy. I don't know about the Oscar. It's not going for an Emmy. It's a fucking YouTube series unless they do the YouTube YouTuber awards, whatever that was called. I don't know. But the acting uh, could be improved. Probably. I don't know. But really, overall, there was nothing really good about it to be found anyway. So, with time constraint, very little to none character development, uh, music at the speaking volume, and mediocre acting, and really nothing good to find in it, and the, the N-word used a lot, Oh, that's a stupid one because African Americans are saying it, but I don't care. Because I'm going to wind up saying it one day probably, and I'm get 
punched in the face on GTA, and then I'm gonna get punched in the face in real life. But with that, I'm just, I hate to do this. I was really hoping Thug Life Episode 1 would have been so much better, but then again, I was hoping I was gonna be in it. Uh, but we were just kind of pushing my thing back with this, so I was not in it. And I will review, and I'm gonna also review the ones that I was in too, so I'm not like gonna do something where it's like I don't review my own work. I'll review my own work. Just not something that I made, written, and directed, but something that I was in for somebody else, then I'll review it. If I could do the thing with the numbers, I would. Um, but I'm going to have to say, Thug Life. Let me actually think about this real quick. No. Actually, there really was nothing, like I said, there was nothing good about it. All these issues are issues that need to be fixed. And this is a low score. I know it, sounds, it seems like I'm going harsh on it, but it's just something I got to do. GTA Thug Life Season 1 Episode 1 gets a 1 out of 10 for it. I know mediocre acting doesn't deserve 1 out of 10, but I kind of refigured that. The acting was not great at all. It was sci-fi movie acting. I know I said it was a sci-fi movie acting, but think about it again. Oh my god, it's fucking sci-fi movie acting. Gets a 1 out of 10 with bad acting, little to no character development, Music just kind of loud, not kind of loud, but music loud to where there's people trying to talk and you can't hear them. And just time constraints and swears galore. This may prove to be a YouTube series that could get canceled. And I hate to say that Vortex, but it's true. Alright. I mean, don't hate me for that, but it's my honest review. Alright. So... I'm going to leave a link to Thug Life for you subscribers down below. You can go and watch it. Maybe you didn't like what I said. Maybe you um like this. Maybe you like it. But then again, it's my opinion. This is my ba this is my opinion. If you don't agree, uh everybody has opinions. Opinions really aren't facts. Uh, opinion I don't people say opinions can be debatable, but when somebody has their own view on something, that can't there's no right answer. So I'll put a link to that down below. You guys can go watch it. Put a comment on the Alpha Squad channel. Tell him if you liked it, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, how can he improve on this, and maybe I'll relay the message to him if you, if you put a comment down below to my thing, to my comment box after you watch that, and I can put that, and I can relay him the message. So, yeah, that's it for the Thug Life, episode one premiere, with a one out of ten, probably the worst score of television thing premiere ever got so anyway you guys I just wasted 13 minutes of your time share with your friends share with my friends share with your family share with my family like this video hit me this video subscribe to for more and as always I will see you do the actually do the webs later